Hello there. This is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. This sugar baby thing. You know what? There's been a lot of content creators. I ain't calling any names. Um, you know, being associated with this uh, sugar baby thing. And like I said, I don't call names because you know it's not my style. I don't comment on specifically on other people. I do comment on the issue. And I'm gonna tell you what, to me, it's still amazing. If y'all hear a growl, it's early in the morning. Anyway, <laughs> I haven't eaten anything yet. So anyway though, um, you know, with the sugar baby thing, it just, I'm gonna tell you something now. I know a lot of stuff, not everything. Every, and I've said that before people will ask me to address them. I say, I'm not experienced with that. And I have no problems. I don't know what it's like to pay for a sugar baby. And I have no shame in saying that. If you, somebody hit me up, hey, Rom, how do you handle a sugar baby? I ain't the one, cuz. Cuz I'm gonna tell you something now. First of all, the earliest I learned the game was when I was a kid. The earliest. I told you, when I was seven, my mother broke down the pregnancy game because she didn't want any grandkids out of wedlock and she knew how women rolled anyway. And I'm gonna kind of address that because there's nothing new under the sun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna address that in a future video this week. But anyway, there's no, uh, you know, that was the earliest, but another early game now, I learned this more out in the streets. And when I say streets, I good old road, 16th, 16th and good old road, Southeast Anacostia, uh, DC. I don't know how it looks now or how it is now. It might be probably gentrified like crazy, but uh, back then it was rough. And you'd be around some street cats and everything. And they, they let you know. That's how, you know, they, you know, back in, back in the day, you know, we ain't had to, we ain't have YouTube or anything. You just had to be cool with some older guys and they'd like just tell, they wouldn't tell you stuff directly. You, you had to watch them and just be paying attention when they were talking. Now, the earliest game I learned from them was just the nature of things. The game of the woman was to get money out of a man without giving up some pussy. The game of the man was to get pussy without giving up money. It was just that simple. And anybody who's done studies, especially of those type of environments, know it's, it's a jungle. It's a dog eat dog environment. So that was the earliest thing. And actually between those guys and some, um, I'll just say some diesel type of women, shout out master teacher BGS, like sex worker type of women, women on that tip, they kept me out of trouble. Cause I already knew they, they say, Rom, you got a good heart or Rami, they got, you got a good heart. So they were just, I was like, okay. So I never got into that, but I see it now. Like you get a lot of guys, they think they doing something. It's like, no, you dealing with a sugar baby. You paying for the pussy. She went in the game. She went in the game. Now, yeah, let's be real. Some of these sugar babies are, they going to have some sex, but they just going to give the guy just enough. Just enough, just a taste, just enough to think he's doing something. And you know, these women, they could probably get a Academy Award for their acting and everything. And you know, that, that's it. But I'm gonna tell you what, one thing about those type of women, they don't respect the man. What have I said? I said, it's better to have a woman's respect than her love. And see, these guys think they're getting over on the woman. And I'm like, nah, because I'm gonna tell you their game too. You think you, you got to get under control, even some situations where some men, they'll put a woman up in an apartment and all of that. They'll put her up in an apartment, buy her all this stuff. But uh, double back there when she don't know you coming. <laughs> oh, I usually do this in the car videos. You might get a my bad situation. You, you go in there and everything, cause you know, it's your spot. You had a key. Somebody pounding the hell out of her. Somebody who ain't paid two pennies for it. In fact, the money you giving her to say fix up or something, like you might, you know, that sugar baby, uh, sugar daddy might give her some money. He say, yeah, go fix your hair and everything. 
Yeah, hey, 500, really get it fixed up. She'll find somebody, give it to her for $49.99, get that other 450 to that like street dude. <laughs> oh man, that's a level game. I ain't, I'm a, look, let me just say something on a tangent. There's a level game I never talk about because everybody ain't ready for it. Just really getting over in the streets and all of that with that sex thing. I don't really talk about it. I might have addressed it sometime. Like, I think I addressed it like one time on uh, ROM TV. But other than that, phew, it is something different. It's, a lot of dudes ain't ready for it. But that's just a tangent. But that sugar baby thing, I'm gonna tell you what. A lot of guys try to get, get mad at the women for trying to get money out of men and all of that. But you can stop that. If collectively men say, look, I ain't, I'm going to do that old school game ROM, like, explain. I ain't paying for it. Because, see, think about something. Think about something. And this is why I say keep your money in your pocket. Don't leave with your wallet. Now, I know others say something different, but let's be real. Let's be real. One of the things that you have out here. And it's just a reality, even though some guys don't see it because they haven't experienced it. You got some guys getting the women, throwing it at them, handing them the, uh, handing them the pussy. And they ain't paying one penny. In fact, some of these women are paying for these guys. In fact, and like I said, you get some of those sugar babies, they'll take the money that the sugar daddy gave them and get, give some young boy, he don't have any money or anything. Shoot, he indirectly pimping the, pimping the woman. And it's just like, I'm going to put that on men. So you, some guys be trying to blame the women for it. Women can try all they want. They can try. That's their nature. They're going to try to run that game, try to get their money, say, hey, you need to pay for this or that. And like I remember, there was a woman one time, she told me she had a list of 95 restaurants she wanted me to take her to. And I just looked at her. I said, shoot, you better find somebody else. I, ain't, I, ain't, I, I don't have any, get any joy out of watching you eat. You know? Now, let me be clear on something. The way I was, the way I still am, really, I'll spend money on a woman I'm cool with. I mean, like, serious money. Yeah, after she do something. After she does something with me. <laughs> hey, see, and that's all, and the only way I do that is I wanted to eat at that place anyway. That's my whole mentality. It don't go beyond that. But if a woman came up to me and said, well, you got to do this or you need this for the time. I'm like, hold up, no. Only way I would spend money on some woman for some date like that, we ain't had sex yet. She had to be a millionaire, like a certified millionaire. And really, that's a business thing. That, that'd that be a business thing I would write off. But see, you got some guys, they want that fine woman. They feel like, well, I got to pay. They've been raised to be tricks. They weren't raised in an environment where they learn that, uh, that simple axiom. It's like the game for a man is to get pussy without spending money. And see, a lot of guys, they actually empowering the women. They complaining about the women being gold diggers or something. It's like, but uh, dude, you got your wallet in your hand. And it's just like, and a lot of guys thinking, yeah, they doing something, but I like, uh, and I've said this before, tell that woman you don't have that money anymore and see how she responds. That's very important, but you know, but you get a bunch of guys doing it, like the OnlyFans thing. Like I remember I had a young lady, she was following me on IG, she said, hey, you know, for $10 and stuff, I can, you know, get a membership to her I, uh, OnlyFans. And I was like, uh, sweetie, why would I pay to see a woman naked? I can see it for free. And that's the whole mindset. Now, sometimes women will try to shame you and say, oh, you cheap or you broke. Don't get mad at them. Don't try to spend money to impress them. Be like, yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, I am. Just say, just say it like that, even if you not. Just say, yeah, I am, okay. All right. Yeah, you're right. Well, why are you talking to me then? Go find somebody who got money. Cause that's how they get the guys. That's how they get the guys anyway. The guys are pressed. A man has control over it. A man has control over who he mess with. So if he say, look, I'm, I'm not gonna deal with a woman under these circumstances. I don't care how fine the woman is. Boom. Seriously. You know? Now, like I said, if she's the type, y'all have already had sex and stuff and you just happen to want to eat at that particular restaurant, 
phone. But if she, uh, if she said, I mean, if she gives you the impression, the only way you can have her time and company is if you spend money, it ain't worth it. What's she going to get? Shoot, be like some street cats or something, figure out which women are freaks out there and then deal with them if it's like that. And I'm, I'm gonna say that because I'm, I'm seeing all I'm seeing all this stuff and guys complaining, but I'm like, you empowering the woman. You spending money on her. And she ain't giving you nothing in return. That's the worst type of sugar baby thing in my in my view. These women be hitting up guys on uh, you know, say, hey, cash at me, cash at me. And I'll be like, and like I said, like, especially on IG, I've been hit with that. And I'll be like, no, for what? What am I getting out of it? I've seen naked bodies before. Why would I pay to see yours? You know, you might not even be your body. You could be catfishing. Yeah, Ron could be me. And guys got to think that way. Because think about it. And I've talked about this before. Think about what you bring into the table. You giving her your D. You giving her your time. Unless, and like I said, unless she's a millionaire woman and you talking to her for business, why are you even bothering with that? And seriously, guys gotta understand that. Have, have more respect for yourself. So, but anyway, yeah. And you know, I, I'm gonna do this video. Hey, I'm gonna get some comments. You know, if I had that thanks button on here, it's coming. If I had that thanks button activated, people would be like, hey, thank you. If I did this in a live stream, be getting super chats. You know, some guys still going to do it. But if y'all rolling with Ron, shit, make that woman earn whatever. You know, make that woman earn it. Seriously, any women don't like it, well, you know, stay off the channel then. <laughs> Seriously, that whole sugar baby thing. Yeah. And like I said, and let me let me hit that thing about being shamed about it. Never try to impress anybody with your money any damn way. Seriously, never impress it. You know, never impress that woman because they can always try it, and she can say okay. Just be like either okay or just be like oh no. Nah. Only women like they hit them with this. If either be like just okay, I'll say oh no, nah, yeah, I'll spend money after she done twirled on the chandelier. Back that thing up, you know, swallowed all my children. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta be cold blooded about it. But that's the main thing, because here's the thing, ultimately, and about women like that, they really don't respect tricks. They don't respect it. And like I said, you rather have respect from a woman than love. Because love, really, if you look at it, is nothing but just some lust or infatuation or something. Respect is, it, respect is a long time unless you do something specifically to. Uh, lose that respect. I want y'all to think about that, all right? So anyway, that's all I got for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.